welcome to Anime Say, I'm Luke Halliday, and this is episode 18, and we're going to be talking about probably one of the most discussed topics in anime right now, which is the revelation of Toby in Naruto. Um, okay, I, I read the latest chapter and whatever, I, I looked, it's impossible to avoid the spoilers, so pretty much anyone that knows about Naruto has probably already found out who he is. Yes, that's right. Toby is Goku. Toby's Goku. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Toby... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Spoilers, if anyone doesn't care about... Sp if you don't want spoilers, stop watching the video right now. Or just, like, just come back in, I don't know, a couple minutes. Anyways, we'll skip forward a couple minutes. <clears throat> Anyways, Toby is Obito Uchiha. Now... I've been thinking about this, I was wondering whether I should make a video or whatever, and I eventually decided, yes, this is my holiday save for the week, by the way, in case you're wondering. So, I was wondering whether I should make a video for it. Eventually, I decided yes, because this is kind of really, really stupid. Um, a lot of people have predicted, oh yeah, Toby, it's probably Obito, whatever, a lot of people thought it, but I personally, I was thinking, nah, it's too predictable, he's going to go completely something completely different. And, you know, <laughs> I gotta say, he completely fucked up. Kishimoto fucked up. Like, how the, how the fuck does it make sense for Obito to be Toby? First of all, Toby did shit before Obito was even born. Like, okay, let me get, let me grab my examples here. Okay, Toby, before Obito was even born, Toby was, did the whole controlling Yagura, he met Kisame, and he gave Nagato, Nagato the Rin again. All, all this other shit. All this other shit he did. So how the fuck is Obito Toby when Toby did stuff before Obito was even born? Does, that timeline doesn't make sense now. And there's a bit in this latest chapter where... Uh, the, there's a visual, it's just a visual fuck up. There's like the, the Kage face is fucked. But anyways... The whole problem with Toby being Obito is that it doesn't make sense. For one, on the most basic level, why the hell would Toby be Obito? Because Obito, from everything we know, Obito is a good guy. A good kid who sacrificed himself under a boulder. He should be dead. He sacrificed himself under a boulder that crushed him. So, I don't understand why... Why would this guy who seemed like such a good person Go dark side. Why would he be a bad dude? You, you know, I don't get it. Like, for everything we've known about Obito, it doesn't make sense for him to be bad. He did not, never once seem to have a bad bone in his body. So I don't really understand why he would go bad. But I don't know. A lot of it does not make any sense. I mean, Kishimoto could have done a number of different things, and another thing, Toby claiming to be Madara. Why would? Why would Obito pretend to be Madara? Why? What, 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 for what reason? To scare people? Like, I guess? I don't know. I, Toby being Madara probably made a fair amount of more sense, or Zetsu or something like that. It would have made more sense. But then again, I don't... Okay. When you, when you have a character like this, who you've purposely hidden the identity of for so long, you're never, 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 never going to be able to pay off all of that mystery, and I don't think I've ever seen a case where a character's identity was hidden for so long, and then when it was finally revealed, everyone's like, oh, that's the best thing ever. I've never seen a case like that. It's always, 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 always a letdown, because, you know, when you hype something up so much, and then you reveal it, all that mystery's gone. Okay, now, this whole time, it was Obedo, so how do we, how do we connect all the dots? Now, I bet you we're going to see about 10 chapters. <laughs> the next 10 weeks is probably all going to be explaining the hell out of this, because none of this makes sense. So we're going to see another 10 flashbacks or something like that. And you know what's going to happen. Naruto's just going to talk Toby out of this, or talk Obito out of this the whole thing. Because, you know, Naruto and Obito have a lot in common. They're very similar characters when Obito was younger. This version of Obito, I don't really get why he's... You know, bad at all, but you know, I mean, all in all, Kishimoto made a pretty bad mistake with making Obito 
Obito being Toby just doesn't make enough sense. It's way too predictable. Everyone knew it was going to be Obito. And now we're just going to be in for about 10 chapters of explaining this. And, you know, Kishimoto put himself in the corner now. And he's going to have to write his way out. And I don't, I don't know if he can do a very good job of that because he's created so many plot holes with this that really I don't get. Like, what's the timeline thing? All the stuff that Toby did before Obito was born. The only way I can imagine him fixing that is if he makes it so that Toby was actually someone else before Toby became Obito. Like, okay, so, um, I don't know, just, I can't even think of anyone else who could have been. Someone else was Toby, and then they passed it on to Obito in a way. I think that's only, <laughs> I don't know, because this whole time won't just make any sense. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I've really got to say about that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Kishimoto, you need to fix this. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not like the biggest Naruto fan, but I'm on and off, you know, I enjoy it. I like Naruto. So I'm, I'm on and off watching it sometimes or reading it. I, I, don't, I don't do it every single week, but, you know, Toby, I've been wanting to know who Toby was for a long time, so I haven't really been liking the war too much, but... I just want to see a Toby so I checked it out and it does make sense to me. Anyways, let's move on to the newly named segment, Your Say. Um, this used to be called Tweet of the Week, but we've now changed it to Your Say. Alright. Now, the first Your Say comes from Facebook. Last week I asked you all, Originals or Remakes? What do you prefer and why? Does one affect your opinion of the other? So I've got a few, a few answers in. The first answer is from Mitchell Jewett on the Facebook. Mitchell Jewett says, Original, obviously. Duh. Good one, Mitchell. Good. <laughs> yes, I don't really know what to say back to that. It didn't really explain much. Um, okay, let's go to Twitter. And we have one. Twitter, 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 Twitter. And my colleague Benjamin Webb sends in something I think is good. He's got a good point here. It depends on the series. For instance, the new Evangelion movies are better than the original, and I love the original. Yeah, it really, it really does depend on the series. Like, for example, we spoke about Brotherhood last week, um, Brotherhood and Fuller Lapist, and it, it is true. Like. It's, and you know what? Ultimately, it's very subjective. It really comes down to the person and what they personally prefer. Anyways, question for this week is What do you think of the Toby revelation? Was it a letdown or were you impressed? You can leave a comment below. Go leave a comment on the Facebook at facebook.com slash ccanimesay. You can send me a tweet. My Twitter account is at LA Harvey. You can follow it. You can send me a tweet with the hashtag anime say. And let me know what you thought of Toby's revelation. You, what do you think of it being Obito? I mean, I didn't really like it myself, but what did you think? Let me know. Alright, that's going to be it for anime say. Next episode, I'm going to do, I just want to let you all know, I'm going to do a Sword Art Online episode. I've been meaning to talk about it for a while, and I've been saying on Twitter a fair bit what my thoughts in the series are, so I think I'm going to make an episode just to really outline why this show is not really doing it for me. Alright, until then, hello and goodbye. Really? Oh,